To help players overcome the various challenges put to them in video games, developers often offer a selection of useful items that can aid players with their goal. And while most pickups and power-ups are beneficial to them, not all of what can be found in games have positive effects. So with that in mind, I'm Josh from WhatCulture.com and these are 10 video game items you should never pick up. Number 10, Baldekin's Blessing, Elden Ring. As notoriously difficult as From Software's games are, the developers always found ways to make their games even harder for those up for the challenge. And while each of these things pre-warn players that using them will make life a little bit tougher, Elden Ring contained one such item that offers no such caution, and that was Baldekin's Blessing. Obtained by allowing fear to embrace you at the round table hold, this boon grants a sizable 35% boost to damage negation, alongside a 50% increase to poise for 15 seconds when used. What the item doesn't inform you, however, is that holding one in your inventory gives a permanent 5% debuff to health. And though that doesn't sound like much, a smaller health bar can make a significant difference, especially during the early hours of the game. With Soulsborne players, myself included, having a habit of hoarding consumables, it is possible that this status effect has been afflicting players for a while without them even noticing. So to avoid this debuff, it's recommended to use Fia's Blessing immediately after receiving it. Number 9, The Shabby Doll, Silent Hill 4, The Room. Finding and managing limited resources is a fundamental part of the survival horror genre. And the fourth entry in the Silent Hill series, The Room, is no exception to this gameplay convention either. Here, players will need to keep an eye on protagonist Henry's stockpile of healing items and ammo if they intend to see him survive. Alongside these valuable pickups, players will also need to keep an eye out for key items needed to solve puzzles while exploring the hellish worlds that they find themselves in. Therefore, when a strange man named Walter kindly gifts Henry and the player with an old doll later in the game, players probably won't think twice about accepting the item, assuming that it must be needed at a later point in the title. It turns out though that all putting the shabby doll in your inventory does is give you some unnecessary trouble. That's because upon returning to Henry's apartment, players will discover that acquiring the doll has resulted in incredibly disturbing doll faces to manifest on one of the walls. So unless you're looking to forever be scarred, Walter's gift is one that should be politely declined. Number 8. Mackerel, Nia Automata Normally, when you come across food in a video game, it means that you've discovered a delicious healing item. One time where having food in your possession wasn't beneficial, though, was in JRPG Nia Automata. See, when Android protagonists 2B and 9S receive an email informing them about fish, they're able to travel to the border area and talk to someone called a jackass. She'll inform you that a mackerel has horrible effects on androids when eaten, before immediately handing you one and encouraging you to chow down on it so she can see what happens. And unsurprisingly, given the warning, doing so is a terrible idea as ingesting the fish from your inventory results in an instant game over. To add insult to injury, an on-screen message explains that the fish caused the android to become paralyzed as their inner workings became congealed. And as they lay dying, their last thoughts were of how tasty their final snack was. Number 7. The Time Bomb, Metal Gear Solid Filled with creator Hideo Kojima's wild imagination, the Metal Gear series has taken immense pleasure in playing bizarre tricks on players. Another one of Kojima's sneaky tricks also came in Metal Gear Solid after Snake escapes the clutches of Ocelot. Here it turns out that the antagonist has actually planted a bomb among Snake's things, meaning that when players collect their gear, they must then find the explosive that's now in their possession. Thankfully, getting rid of the bomb isn't too difficult, and players will have around 25 minutes to discard the clearly labelled bomb from their inventory. And when the timer gets close to running out, Snake will receive a call reminding him to do so, just in case you've somehow forgotten. However, there is an even sneakier bomb found later on in the game that can be picked up entirely accidentally. While searching the drainage duct in the maintenance base for a keycard, it is possible that players will mistakenly pocket another bomb without realizing it. Unlike before though, this bomb detonates after only 30 seconds and there's no in-game message to warn players about their impending death either. Number 6. Poison Mushroom, Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels 
Originally released in Japan as Super Mario Bros. 2, the game would eventually be re-released under the new name The Lost Levels after Nintendo of America deemed it too difficult. Trickier platforming, warp pipes that placed you further back in the game, and gusts of wind that blew Mario and his brother around all cranked up the difficulty quite substantially. However, it was the addition of poison mushrooms that came as the nastiest surprise. As its name suggests, this pickup has the exact opposite effect of the fungus Mario is used to finding. This mushroom will kill the plumber dead when touched if he has no other power-ups active. Number 5. That Green Herb, Kingsfield 4 Long before From Software was subjecting players to the unflinching hardships of the Soulsborne games, the Japanese developers were reveling in their masochistic cruelty with the Kingsfield series. Now, the Kingsfield games contained many of the hallmarks the team is known for today. Likewise, the series is also brimming with traps, with one of the harshest appearing in Kingsfield 4. This game begins with a grand cinematic explaining the origins of the titular evil city and a mysterious idol before then handing control over to the player. Immediately, players are presented with the sight of a lava pit on the left and a tantalizing green herb on the right. Now, rather than walking straight into a fiery pit, the smart option would appear to be head towards the herb and see if it can be picked up, which it absolutely can. But in a fiendish From Software trick, collecting this plant will actually cause the ground to weaken below you and send you falling into the lava if you then step on the wrong spot. Number 4, The Wooden Dolls, Blair Witch Collectibles are part of most video games, a selection of various objects hidden throughout the levels. Finding all of them is often an extra objective that players must undertake if they aim to fully complete a game. And Bloober Team's Blair Witch is one such title that has plenty of things for curious players to hunt for. Dog tags, psychiatrist notes, spooky photographs, and even pieces of rubbish are all things that completionists should be looking out for as they make their way deeper into the eerie depths of the Black Hills Forest. One collectible you shouldn't pick up, though, are the wooden dolls located throughout the game. Now, admittedly, this is almost impossible as the first is found in a hard-to-miss spot at the very beginning of the game. And players will even get an achievement for picking it up, suggesting that they're doing the right thing. What this achievement doesn't tell you, though, is that collecting this doll has already started you on the path to getting the bad ending before the game has even properly begun. And that's because it turns out that the malicious witch of these woods wishes to manipulate you into doing her bidding. And collecting these dolls is all part of her evil plan to get you on her side. So if you collect all of them, or most of them, you will get the bad ending, even though it kind of seems like you're doing the right thing and these are actually hurting her. Number 3. The Gun The Dark Pictures Anthology Little Hope when the unfortunate group of characters of Little Hope find themselves stranded in the titular town, it becomes apparent that something sinister is going on when they experience flashbacks to the area's witchy past and become pursued by demonic creatures. When one of the group, Andrew, stumbles upon a gun hidden in a shack, which can only be entered by passing a QTE, by the way, players may think that taking the weapon along with them would be the smart decision to make. I mean, having something to defend yourself against whatever supernatural monstrosities lurk in the fog can only be a good thing, right? Well, in a devious slice of misdirection, taking the firearm actually causes far more problems than it's worth. During a later point in the game, for instance, having the gun will give Andrew the option of firing at what he thinks is a demon approaching the group. And if players choose to shoot, they will actually inadvertently kill Angela. Having the gun in your possession at the end of the game as well can also result in the worst possible ending if Andrew is the only survivor left. So yeah, next time, just leave this thing alone. Number two, the pendant Dark Souls. For as unrelentingly challenging as Dark Souls is, From Software do offer players a small lifeline at the very start of the game in the form of a gift they can choose for their character. Though these trinkets may appear to be insignificant, they nevertheless offer a sizable advantage for new players taking their first steps into the decaying lands of Laudron. The Black Firebomb, for instance, can do masses of damage to the Asylum Demon, while the Master Key grants players access to certain areas earlier, and the Old Witch's Ring allows the Chosen Undead to converse with Quailag's sister. 
One starting item that you absolutely shouldn't take, though, is the pendant. Despite the item's description reading, quote, a simple pendant with no effect, players were convinced that there must be a secret use for this trinket. And game director Miyazaki only fueled these speculations by stating in interviews that he'd either choose the pendant or nothing at all as his starting gift. However, in a later interview, the developer confessed that the pendant is utterly useless and was just intended as a prank on players. Number one, waistband, Dragon Quest. Cursed items are a common occurrence within games, especially in RPGs. Typically, these items are powerful artifacts that come with the cost of a negative effect to stop them becoming too overpowered. But the same cannot be said of the waistband from classic JRPG, Dragon Quest. Also known as the Devil Belt or Cursed Belt, this accursed accessory is found in one of the chests located in the Dragon Lord's castle. If finding this belt in amongst the possessions of the game's main antagonist isn't enough of a deterrent to equip it though, players who do decide to wear this belt will realize that they've made a huge mistake. Not only will the belt stop the hero from moving temporarily, but they'll also be forbidden by the king from entering his castle at all. And this isn't ideal when you need to go there to finish the game. The only way to unequip the item as well, and same goes for the cursed necklace found in the title, is to talk to a specific character in the town near the castle to get it off. So yeah, the moral of the story is, don't go snooping around a baddie's lair. Now that's our list, I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. How many of these items were you tricked into using, and are there any other interesting ones I missed off here? Let me know, and while you're down there, if you could, please give us a like, share, subscribe, and head over to whatculture.com for more lists and news like this every single day. Even if you don't, though, I've been Josh, and I'll see you soon.